there comes a point. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, there comes a point when you really just get tired of people playing with you, and it's just unfortunate that it has to be people that look like you, because of all the stuff that has been going on in this country with like black people and other people. You think that black folks would have some type of like unity amongst themselves, but like not to say all other races of people are perfect because they're not. They just have some type of social structure and some type of social economic structure that's better than black folks is at this particular point in time because other people don't all get along either. You know what I'm saying? You got politics, you got this side, that side, you know, they just make it look pretty. But when people don't have as much resources and people aren't on the same level, it's going to be different types of differences and different types of arguments and different types of problems and stuff like that. But anyway, since I guess, I don't know, I guess since black folks aren't, um, since we all aren't, um, doing well, I, I mean, that's the thing, there's no all, like, there's no one group of people that's all doing well, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but what I notice amongst black people is that sometimes we, uh, we got the crab in a bucket mentality where we want to tear each other down, whether that's subliminally or just like where you're gaslighting the person, like talking about them without actually talking about them, or, well, I mean, shit, it's all subliminal because they ain't really saying, they're not really being outright, like, out front with them not liking me. Like, people will be around you and they'll not like you, but they'll be passive aggressive about it. They'll, they'll create a hostile work environment for you. They'll create a hostile environment for you, period. Um... They'll, they'll do things to get on your nerves per, on purpose to try to make you not want to come back. Like, these are things that when when, you, when you're not doing anything to anyone and all you're doing is, like, focusing on yourself, these are the things that people are going to start to do because when you focus on yourself, you, you could have zero dollars to your name. If, you're, if, if people see you as someone who is important, or depending on the type of narcissist you're around at that particular time, they could have the whole entire world. If you're focusing on you and not them, their demons are going to come out. They're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. And they're going to want to treat you bad because you're not solely focusing on them. Just because you're not worshiping them. Worshiping the ground they walk on. Seeking their attention. Seeking their validation. Um... Wanting to talk to them. Uh, people have a huge problem. Certain people who don't really. It, it's always the people honestly. Who who aren't working on themselves. Who aren't reading books. Who aren't taking time out to make themselves better. You know. It's always these people. It's always the people that are upset. Like people who gossip. People who worry about other people. People who focus on mundane stupid stuff. This person said that. This person said this. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, well, who's he dating now? Or who's she going out with now? Or she was with him at dinner last night. I thought she was talking to her. I thought whatever. You know, so it's like people who are real information based. Like there, there are people out there who thrive off of the information and the business of other people. And if you're not willing to tell these people your business, if you're not willing to disclose your private information, your secret information, if you're not willing to tell them your whole entire life, if you're not willing to tell them who you're dating, how you're dating, how your relationship is going, and you have to work around these people, if you have to live around these people, they're going to feel some type of way depending on how they view you. Like, the people at my the people at my job some of them are trying to control me they're trying to control what i do they're trying to control how i do it and it's basically just like simple stuff like you grant like it's basically like cuz i follow the rules at the job but people want to they can't control me in terms of me needing them like oh i need someone to talk to at work or oh i need this person for this or oh i need a ride from you 
or oh I need like people can't they can't control you so once they realize that they can't control you they're gonna get upset they're gonna get angry like somebody would like I and I don't I don't care if they stop talking to me or I don't care if they don't like me at all but somebody asked me to grab somebody was sitting down on a crate and he was like hand me that phone and I just walked right past him and I didn't say nothing about it and now this person don't want to talk to me so it is what it is like I don't need I never needed to talk to you in the first place but these people they want to control you like there's some females at the job that can't control me in terms of of sex so it's like I don't want them sexually all I want to do is work around them so now because I don't want them sexually and all I want to do is work around them I don't look at them really I don't talk to them I don't really pay them any attention other than work because number one I'm focused on myself I don't have a vehicle I'm living in like an uh, apartment I want a house you know there's a there's a lot of things that I want to do with my life that I want to improve on and make better and sorry I'm not wasting I'm sorry I'm not spending my time focusing on you and and all your glory and greatness but I have a life as well if you haven't noticed that's the problem with these narcissists they feel that their life is important and no one else's life is important like and I, I feel like I am important as shit like these people they got to be like have a whole nother level of false sense of importance because i feel i'm important because i'm here to help people i feel i'm important because i'm here to make myself better to help make other people better that's why i feel like i'm important i feel like i'm important because god put a spirit on me to help people and to help make people better and to want to make people better because i want to make myself better you know what i'm saying that's 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 where I get my importance from. That's where I get my good feelings from. But other people, they don't feel good. Other people, they don't have a vision. Other people, they don't have a plan. And they know that you're thinking about trying to figure your life out. But the thing is, these people, they don't take life serious. They only act like they take life serious when you come around. So when you don't play around with them, when you don't waste time with them, when you don't act like a child with them, when you don't gossip with them, when you don't <clears throat> when you don't keep up with the Joneses, when you're not worried about, oh, Jamal got new shoes or oh, Jackie got her hair done or oh, who's he dating now or you see Jackie got a new car. I heard Jackie can't do this because her this and that and her tire and her car and her her finances. I, I'm not into that. I'm, I'm not into talking about other people. I'm not into talking about coworkers. I'm not into gossip. I like to read books. I like to educate myself. I like to make beats. Um, I like I like positive things. <clears throat> I'm human, you know. I'm not gonna say I'm, but the main thing I'm not focused on is gossip and talking about others. The main thing I'm not focused on is negative things happening in other people's life to make me feel good about myself because there's so much negativity in my life. I work all the negativity out of my life so I could treat other people, so I could try to treat other people, no, fuck that, so I could treat other people well. <clears throat> One thing I do have to work on is when I, when I call these call centers, like when I call call centers, my attitude be jacked up. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. <clears throat> when I, when I'm, calling these car companies or when I'm trying to get something figured out in terms of my money and stuff like that, my attitude's fucked up because I work hard and I need my money and I don't want any problems with my money. I need it. <clears throat> so if there's any issue when I got to call these car companies or shit like that, I'll, I'll have attitude. I can't help it because like right now, like my, my rent is pretty crazy <clears throat> and like, I'm a little on edge and I got to work on, I got to work that out and I got to, I got to put the stuff that I believe in action and know that <clears throat> everything is going to be okay and that no matter what my rent is, I don't, no matter what I get paid, I don't have to worry because God's got me at the end of the day, for real, for real, God's got me and everything that I need will come to me through him and I'll never be forsaken and I will always be cared for. And I will always be made to lie down in green pastures. 
because that's just the way it is, and that's my mindset, and that's what I think, and that's what I feel, and that's what I visualize, and that's what I see for myself, so that's what I attract. But you have people out there who are just focused on so much negativity that they see you with a positive attitude. They see good things happen in your life, and they don't know how. But the thing is, they don't want to let go of that negative attitude. It's like they're addicted to it. They're stuck to it. I had to change mine. I had to work on myself. I had to grow. I had to change my attitude. I had to work on myself. I had to improve myself. I had to get rid of the stinking thinking, as they say. But the people where I'm working at, I'm not really giving them too much attention because I have a lot going on in my personal life. And these, like, the the people there feel some type of way that I'm focused on my personal life more than I am them. I'm not there kissing ass. I'm not there trying to get to know them. I'm not there trying to be their friend. I'm, I'm just letting it happen gradually. But... You know, like, I have a whole life that I have to, these people have cars, these people have houses, or these people, their living situation is set, you know what I'm saying? They don't have anything to worry about. They're good, but yet I'm supposed to focus on them and all the good things in their life and just say, screw what I have planned out for me, screw what I'm trying to do, let me focus on them and and give them all of my energy and all of my time and all of my attention because that's what they crave and that's what they want and that would make them happy when I don't talk to people they're angry and they're in their feelings when I talk to people that they gossip about me they end up knowing too much about me and then that gives them more ammunition to gaslight me to make fun of me and to subliminally shit on me in my face in my presence so I've, I've learned to fall back from people. If somebody wants to talk to me, if somebody wants to get to know me, they'll show me and they'll let me know. But the type of person I am, me just going out and giving myself to people, that hasn't worked for me. Because people use that to their benefit and they use that to my deficit. People use that at, at, to try to hinder me. As a, the People use that as a negative thing to me, to try to, to try to hinder me and try to stop me. And to try to make me out to be a bad person. Talk to me about all types of weird random subjects that 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 uh, 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 bring emotion or a feeling out of somebody. Like I don't even. I used to get caught up and tripped up in that. I don't like people talk to me about stuff that's that's not appropriate for the workplace. I don't even discuss it anymore. I say nope. That's not something that you could you should discuss at work. Why are you trying to talk to me about that? But I'm telling you, these people are so nosy. Like. I lost my wallet and I had to um, I had to get a new card <clears throat> and I'm on my phone with my dad trying to get some help so he could send me some money for my rent or whatever because I have to wait seven to ten business days to get a new card stressful as that is I got I got this girl who's coming over acting like she's cleaning tables but she's really in all reality she's being nosy trying to listen in and hear my conversation like these people some people are so desperate and so nosy for your information and for other people <clears throat> like <clears throat> for other people's um, down moments. Like some people, all they know is being down. So if you're a happy person and when people see you down, they get to be up for a little bit. That's their field day. They get to they get to have a little mental break. Like ah, oh, he's not feeling good. Ah, oh, okay, all right. Now I can feel good for a little bit. They'll be laughing. Ha ha, he he. Ha ha. Like everything is just so funny when 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 you when they could tell you're in a bad mood and they're around you and they can see that your vibration has lowered. Oh yeah, everything they're so happy, everything's so fun, they're in such a good mood. But wait till you get back to your normal state of feeling good. These people They hate to be around you. And like they're so sick and twisted, like they, they, they're so slow because they don't know how to figure out or don't know how to even go about figuring out how to change their mindset or their mood. But then when they come across someone who has, they want to hate, hate you and they want to give you an attitude just because you put in time on yourself and worked on yourself and you've showed yourself approved. 
just by the little the little bit of work and time and effort that you spend on yourself for maybe a few years. But I've, I've been putting in some time and effort in myself for a few years now. And it's not going to stop. I'm going to keep putting time and effort into myself. I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep maturing. I'm going to keep elevating. I'm going to keep leveling up. Keep getting this money. Keep getting this honey. And keep a smile on my face. Because when I look outside, it's always sunny. Even when it's raining. I'm never complaining. Driving in my Rolls Royce and I'm hydroplaning. But yeah, man, like I said, like your attitude is more important than facts. Everything boils down to your attitude. So I'm working on changing my attitude about people that I have to work with because I'm the type of person I don't play games. When I come to work, I come to work. But I have these women where I work and the ones that I'm not paying attention to because I'm focused on myself and I'm focused on trying to work and do the gym. Like, see, that's this is why men and women shouldn't work together because if a man comes around that a female is attracted to, when that man is not focusing on her and he's focused on himself, his life, his job, if there's another girl he likes at the job, that girl's going to be in her feelings about that if she feels she's entitled. Like, there are some girls that I'm working with right now, they feel they're entitled to me. They feel that I should like them. Like, these are girls with boyfriends, babies, baby dads. But I should be, I should be just, I should be drooling over them. I should be just melting over them. I should just be throwing myself at them when they already have a fucking situation. Like, this, this, like this is the insanity that's happening today. Like, like people are, people are losing their mind today. You got a baby. You got kids. You got a a, a a boyfriend. You have a man. But I'm supposed to be giving you all this attention. I'm supposed to be giving you my life, my soul, my time, my energy. And you got a boyfriend and a husband. What? what how's the work gonna get done? Who's doing the work? All you're doing is doing the. All you're doing is running the register. All you're doing is asking me where's the food at. With this particular job that we work, at this particular job setting, how is the work going to get done? You think I got time to focus on myself, figure out my life, make these sandwiches, clean this, this job, and flirt, and talk to bitches, and try to, try to, uh, try to um, get a pussy promise? A pussy promise. That's what these girls be giving out to dudes that they they don't like. A pussy prom. If a girl don't really like you like that, she will she'll throw out. You know how uh, if a girl likes you, she'll throw you the pussy. If a girl don't really like you, she's gonna throw you a pussy promise. If a girl likes you, she's gonna give you some pussy. If a girl don't like you, she'll give you a pussy prom. We can go out and then maybe. Nah, bruh, I don't have time for if you're trying to fuck. I don't have time for maybe you're trying to fuck. When I'm at work, I'm really just trying to do my job and go home, man. Because when I'm at work, I got people trying to tear me down. I got people trying to mentally fuck me at the job. Like, like I got people gaslighting me. I got people probably following me home. Like, these people, they, these people know that, these people know that I sit on my couch and, and watch my phone when I'm off work. Like, I'm telling you. Like, they, they'll say little things that make me scratch my head. And it's like, how in the fuck did you know that? That's because they're watching me like white on rice. That's because they're monitoring my every move. That's because I'm their television. So I said, shit, people watch me so much since I'm people's TV, since people can't get enough of being in my business and watching me and people so worried about me and concerned about what I do, might as well start a YouTube channel, call it DrewTube, because everybody's worried about Drew, apparently. And I like It's so whack and it's so corny to think like that. Like, I hate saying everybody's worried about Drew, everybody's worried about me. That's stupid. Because number one, that's not really true. And number two, shouldn't be true. But number three, the shit feels like it. Because motherfuckers be just, uh, people are just so nosy. And I guess 
out of all the nosy people that they're nosy to, they find a person to be superly nosy to. Like, yo, here's the person that we're all going to target. We're all going to be nosy to this motherfucker. Like, they want to know what I eat. They want to know when I sleep. They want to know if I'm going to bed. They want to know that I'm if I'm staying up. Like, they know when I if I'm going to bed or if, like, these people know that I stay up all night. They think I do cocaine. I make fucking beats, man. When I get off work, I actually have a life. When I get off work, I don't just watch TV and go to sleep. I don't just want to work for somebody else for the rest of my life. So because when I come home, I work out and I, I, I stay up late and dance to and like dance to the music that I'm making, like vibe out and shit. I, I do cocaine. People are so fucking stupid, man. And it's like, like it, it, I'm just I'm just losing patience because people are like you, you all up in the Kool-Aid and have absolutely zero understanding of what the flavor is. Zero. All up in the Kool-Aid, don't even know the fucking flavor. But they swear I'm on drugs. They swear I do cocaine. Because I, when I get off work, I'm not lazy and don't sit on my fat ass. No, sweetheart. I don't do cocaine. You're just a lazy fat ass. You're just a lazy fat ass B. That's what you are, sweetheart. I, Drew doesn't do cocaine. You're a lazy fat ass bitch. When I get yet when I get off work, yes, even though it's twelve o'clock at night, I work out. Yes, I do. Why? Because I motivated myself. I program myself to do those things when I get home. Because I know that if I could put eight hours into somebody else's motherfucking dream, if I don't want to keep going to that dream, when I get off work, I need to be putting eight hours into Drew's dream. At least two or three, maybe four. If I'm if I if I'm really going hard that day, but what like that's the, the but that's the thing. People don't want shit, and they want you to not want shit either, because you want more, because you want more for yourself. You could see more for yourself, and you could actually visualize yourself having these things. You have a vision of yourself being better, doing better, and, and, and enjoying better. These people hate that shit. They hate you for it. Who are you to think that you can do better than where you're at right now? These people want to keep you where you're at. If you ride a bike to work, they want to keep you in their mind riding a bike to work. They don't want to see you elevating and getting a car. If you get a car, they won't like you now. They, won't, they, they want you to stay on a bike. When you get a car, they won't like you. If you're walking and you get a bike and people have cars, if they're hating on you, even though they have a car, guess what, bruh? Even though you got a bike, they don't like the fact that you're not walking no more. They got a whole car. They got four wheels. You were on two feet. Now you got two wheels. They mad that you got, you went from two feet to two wheels. Now they mad. Imagine how they're going. Really, think about this. Like, imagine how they'll feel when you go from two, a bike to a car, bro. You're going to have to protect your car. You really might have to move to a new safe area before you even buy a car. Depending on depending on how people feel about you and how people like, I really don't feel safe buying a car around around these areas that I live at because these people watch me so much that I'm afraid somebody might do something to my car and then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do something to somebody's body for doing something to my car. Have you seen that Bobby Hammond video? Don't touch a black man's car. This ain't no on no Chris Rucker. Don't touch no radio shit. You touch a black man's car, you could possibly lose your life, man. Don't you touch that nigga's car. And it's like, I, I really don't I really don't feel safe buying a car, bro. I don't. Because I'm afraid that somebody, some hater motherfucker is going to pop my tire, do something to my automobile, and then, you know, and then what? I got to, I got to go through all this shit about, you know, I'm not beat for that, man. People trying to break in my car and stuff like that. I, I, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some some healing, some health prayers to get my mind off of that and away from that. But I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting a feeling that you know what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look that up and check that out. But I, and see why I'm getting this feeling. Maybe it's something with me. Maybe it's guilt, some past resentment. Who knows? But I just really something. I don't know. I just don't really feel it. Like buying a car right now. I just don't feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because like people are just watching me too much. And I just don't, I just don't need it.
just don't need all that. I don't want to have to. I don't want motherfuckers being weird trying to be around my car, and I gotta fuck somebody up for sitting on my fucking car. Like people do weird shit to me, man. Like they want to test me, and then it's like, if I almost kill you or beat you to an inch of dying, then I'm the bad guy. So it's like, how do I find a medium between people trying to test me? And me having anger issues and just not doing anything because if I do anything, I'm going to regret it and possibly go to jail. Because I know once I get past that point, there's really no control in that thing. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm out for blood, man. I'm out for blood. Should have left me alone. Shouldn't have bothered me. Shouldn't have tried to test me. I, I'm a peaceful person. I leave people alone, but for whatever reason, that brings enemies. That brings people who want to test that. People who think they can control me. People who think they can bully me or whatever. And I'm not standing for that shit anymore, man. I don't have time for that, bro. I'm 30 years young, man. I don't have time for this, this fuck shit. 30 years young, bro. I don't have time for that. At 30 years young, I'm focused on getting my... Like, I, I'm focused on making up time, man. I'm not, I'm supposed to be farther way ahead than I am right now. Not even just because of being 30 years young. Just because of life, period. Just because of just, just the type of person that I am and I'm, what I want to be and what I want to do and what I see for myself. But it's like because I see more, people want to keep me poor. But I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep grooving. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to keep succeeding. And keep overachieving. Because I'm not going to let anybody that doesn't want shit out of life stop me. I'm not going to let anybody who doesn't want shit out of life make me choose the same path as them. When that's not, when I know there's more. God, I'm a, I am a child of the king and God made all good things for me to enjoy. And working for another person, working for another person's company, when God is giving me the idea and the vision of having my own company and my own workers, uh-uh, mm -mm, not for me. I'm not just going to get off work and just sit on my ass and not do anything. I'm not just going to have a day off of work and not do anything. Not create, not read, not work out, not invent, not uh, research, not whatever. There's plenty of things you could do in 2022 to get ahead, man. And if you're not doing it, it's just your own fault. So I'm 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 showing God, I'm showing the universe, I'm putting I'm putting in all I got. Give it all you got. We'll keep rising to the top. Give it all you got. And we won't let nobody stop us. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Keep rising to the top. Don't let nobody stop you. This has been another real video with Drew Tube. I'm out. I'm about to go work on some beats. Work out, read, and get me some to eat.